hi guys welcome back to my channel it has been a super 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 long time since i have filmed anything with a voiceover or just me talking to you guys i'm so sorry it's just way easier for me to it's way easier for me to just edit a video put some music on it and go on about my day but i hope y'all have been enjoying my weekly vlogs i I really enjoy doing those and I hope you all enjoy watching them so yeah so obviously by the title this is going to be a drugstore makeup tutorial so I'm technically not going to be teaching you how to do makeup I'm just going to be showing you how I would do my makeup with drugstore products don't sleep on drugstore products because they're affordable and they look good if you know what you're doing like if you know how to yeah like yeah <laughs> all right all right all right y'all let's get right into this video i am starting off with my elf poreless face primer um i was looking for a really good primer for like a while now and i watched um this video and this girl used this you know product and i was like wow like the way she was describing it was enough for me to buy it and when i tell you guys this is good this is actually better than the maybelline baby face poreless face primer y'all this really made me feel like i just had like a canvas on my face like it was just brand new skin although my skin isn't i don't really have problematic skin um it's fairly smooth fairly even it still made it smoother than what it is i was like well, what in the world but moving on you guys i am using um this is an eyebrow pencil from shop miss a it's a website that everything's literally a dollar um i don't know where my nyx or even my elf eyebrow pencil went um because it was a drugstore makeup products but i was like well i'm still gonna use this one because it's literally a dollar it's cheaper than them so it's very pigmented you know i didn't expect it to be as pigmented as it is but hey it shocked me i liked it so i'm gonna use it you guys should use it too all right so next i'm gonna go in with my elf 16 hour camo um camouflage concealer y'all i would sleep on elf products i have been sleep on elf products this concealer is so full coverage. It's thick, but it's not super thick. It's lightweight, but it's not too light. It's not heavy. It's, you guys, this is a serious win for concealers. Like, I thought Maybelline was the best concealer I would ever have. Too. It's most definitely Elf, honey. You need to get with it. And I use a square brush to outline my eyebrows. This is a hack that I've been using for a while now. It just helps you get more control over your concealer. So try it. All right, y'all. So after going in with that brow gel, I'm just going to blend out my concealer that I carved my eyebrows out with. And I'm just going to use that brush in a tapping motion just to make sure I don't smear the concealer and that I'm actually blending it in into my skin, pressing it into my skin, um, putting it all over my lids, um, making sure that it's blended all on top of my eyebrows, all of that good stuff. Um... This is important just so that you don't have like concealer just sitting under your eyebrows or sitting on your eye. You want to make sure everything is blended all the way completely out. So just, you know, remember that or keep that in mind. You don't really want it to be clumped up or just any streaks. But I'm taking my Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Press Powder and I'm putting that all over my eyelids. Um, making sure that I press that in and everything's matte and set and the concealer will not be sliding, slipping, or going anywhere. Um, sometimes I press it over my eyebrows and definitely on my eyebrows. So it's just a preference, but I like to make sure everything isn't moving because it, it can move and it can look very ill or like very shiny under your eyebrows. But anyway, moving on to eyeshadow primer, I'm using e.l.f. Um, this primer is actually pretty good. Um, I thought it was going to be like a cheapy quality product, but it's actually pretty good. Um, it's thin like an eye primer should be. Um, it blends out well. I use fluffy brushes to blend things out. Um, even shadows. As you can tell, you see how this is blending out seamlessly. It's because of the brush. It's because of the style of the brush. Using a fluffy brush will change how you apply 
an eyeshadow or like a primer or anything in a small area because using like a dense or a dense eyeshadow brush it really doesn't evenly distribute the shadow and I think that's something that I well I know that's something that I struggle with with applying matte shadows or even you know shimmer shadows so definitely if you're having issues with eyeshadow try using a fluffy brush um, that will definitely change your life all right y'all I totally forgot to get eyeshadow from the store so I'm just using my black radiance um, powder concealer and we're just gonna use that as the eyeshadow I mean with makeup you can use anything as anything as long as it works in my opinion so that's just what I'm doing I'm just gonna take that lighter shade I think that's the sculpt shade and just use it as my transition color then I'm gonna go on with the actual contour powder shade and just um, you know just use it like that but I did find an old eyeshadow palette that um that I had a long time ago and I'm just gonna use that as my shades because the contour palette wasn't really showing up as well as I wanted it to so that's when I went in with um the old eyeshadow palette that I had and just you know use that um it it works pretty well as you can tell you can use anything for eyeshadow so it is what it is um but after that i'm gonna go on with my concealer this is a lighter concealer this is by rimmel or Rimeo. i don't know how to pronounce it but i just take a little bit of that and take that same fluffy brush that i blended um the concealer out under my eyebrows with and i'm just gonna tap that all over until it's blended out soft and smooth and just like a good foundation for shadows then i'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow <laughs> Alright y'all, so after I blended that concealer out, I'm just going to go in with an eyeshadow. This specific shadow was too bright for me. Um, I didn't really like it. It looked white. So I just went in with a neuter shade from that same eyeshadow palette that I have. And just going to tap that all over my lids until it's evenly distributed. Um, as you can tell, this is like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. It's not so dense and so structured so it helps the matte shadow like stick and apply evenly everywhere so that was just kind of an example of what i was saying earlier now this liner i swear by this liner you guys like no joke i swear by it this liner is so amazing this is the nyx eyeliner liquid eyeliner or liquid matte eyeliner whatever you want to call it but um, I personally like doing the little cat eye uh, from time to time. It, I feel like it just adds more definition to my eyes. But um, you basically just draw a triangle <laughs> or two lines that go to a point blend and, you know, fill it in. But applying wing liner is actually pretty difficult if you don't really know what you're doing. Um, you really have to know your personal eye shape and how you like your wings. If you like them thick, if you like them thin, because what... A person would do with hooded eyes doesn't work for somebody who has really big eyes so you just have to <laughs> y'all I got it in my eye a little bit but you just have to really take your time and learn your face as a whole because everything on YouTube or the internet doesn't work for everybody so you just have to figure out what tips and tricks what tips and tricks you can learn from others that will actually benefit you um, me personally I just draw a line over my eyelid and then I take a line going in the same direction as like my waterline, my bottom waterline. And I, it's like I just continue that line if I were to just draw a line from my from the bottom waterline of my eye and just go up with it. And after that, I will just take the top of that line and bring it towards the line I drew over my eye. And voila, we have a wing liner. Alright y'all, so now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara. I love this mascara. It does really well on my lashes. It extends them. It doesn't clump them up or make them look like little spider legs. So that's a plus. Um, and of course, it's affordable. I think it's like, it ranges in between 6 to $7, maybe even $5. I don't remember. I got it a while ago. But I really like this um, 
mascara it does really well like i said and moving on i'm gonna use maybelline i think this is just like a regular black eyeliner um in the color onyx and i'm just gonna put that on my waterline i don't know why but i feel like putting black liner on your waterline really just brings the look together like it just makes you look extra fierce honey like this is just it's it like it just really brings the look together in my opinion but moving on i'm going to use my maybelline fit me foundation in the color 355 blending that out with a fluffy foundation brush y'all this foundation is bomb okay it's bomb um whether you use the dewy finish or the matte finish it's bomb um i just y'all really love this foundation um oh in the summertime i'm 365 so always keep that in mind with your foundation you do change colors you know in this you know changing seasons or at least i do um and you just need to just you know make sure you have different shades of foundation because your summer foundation is definitely gonna be too dark for the winter time you're gonna look darker than what you are and then your winter foundation is gonna be way too light for the summertime like mm -mm, we're not trying to look like casket ready but i'm going back in with my elf concealer and i'm just gonna put that under my eyes make sure i blend that all the way out honey all the way out and on top of that i'm gonna go in with the the rimmel concealer that one is two shades lighter than you know my skin tone just to add extra brightness under my eye um, and I'm just going to blend that out with a disposable sponge. I personally don't like beauty blenders or even the off-brand beauty blenders. Um, I just feel like no matter how much you clean them, they'll never be clean. And you're just putting gook and germs back on your face. And I don't know. I just, I don't really like it, y'all. So that's why I use little disposable ones. Later in the video, I am going to use a, a off-brand beauty blender to put my powder on with. But... I don't know why I used it. It was just there. It was new. So that might be why I just grabbed it. But don't come at me for that. Because I don't use them after like one use. So I kind of switched to the disposable, disposable ones because of that. Because I was wasting money by buying them and just using them once. I don't know if y'all noticed yet, but I'm going really slow in this tutorial so that you guys can catch all my tips and tricks, um, see everything in real time. Some of, some of what I'm doing is sped up, but it's not sped up too much. But moving on, I'm using my Airspun Loose Face Powder, and like I said, I'm applying that with um, a new beauty blender. <laughs> um, but I really like this powder, you guys. I didn't think I would ever like it. I tried it a long time ago, maybe about four or five years ago. And it gave me like the flashback effect. And I really think that's because I didn't have a good technique down with face powders. Like I was really just getting into makeup um, professionally. And I just, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. Everybody has to grow. But I actually really like this powder now. And I really like it m more so because it's like a translucent powder. It's not tinted. So it doesn't, you know give you a tint to your concealer which you've already applied to your face so i really like that um and it brushes off very nice like it was i had a smooth canvas look like it was just a smooth matte finish and i just you know i love a good matte finished face like i don't know why but i was just like wow this is nice you can't see it on my face because i said it in my head but i really like it i think you guys should go get this powder and make do with it because it's perfect and I believe it's like five, six dollars. So I'm also gonna go in with a setting spray called Aftermath. It was on clearance, don't know, I've never heard of it, but you know, I really liked it. Um, it was on sale, so I was like, why not? Um, next, I'm gonna go in with my um, Black Radiance Contour Press Powder. Y'all, I have hit pan with this. It's amazing. <laughs> That's all I got to say about it. It's amazing. It's very pigmented, it's amazing. After that, I'm gonna go in with my Master Chrome Highlight. Um, Y'all, this highlight is bomb. Bomb.com. Like, look at that. It just shines on your face with one to two swipes. I just, y'all, I love it. It's, I love it. I love drugstore makeup. Um, on my lips, I'm using this Palmer's Cocoa 
butter formula whatever on my lips got this from Dollar Tree actually and it's a win-win so definitely don't sleep on Dollar Tree um my lashes are from the hair store in the style Sagittarius because of course I'm a Sagittarius period but I'm using kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe in it and of course it is the clear kind I only use the clear kind because why not use the clear kind point blank period but really quick on my lips, I just have a brown lip liner that I got from the hair store. And then I just have on NYX lip gloss, butter gloss in the shade Maybelline. Blended that together and got this beautiful lip color. Um, but you guys, this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know what other videos you would like me to do. Uh, side note, this is a U-part wig that I made myself with, of course, leave out. Yes, my hair is long enough, you know, to blend in or whatever. It looks good. But yeah, I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.